All right, well, here we go. Episode two of our Frost Haven series. I know this game's already kind of old, but we're back at it, and we have some more uh, miniatures we got to paint, so we got to do some more videos. Uh, first off, I want to thank all my YouTube members for all of your charitable donations to help keep this channel afloat and keep it going. Thank you guys so much. I really, really appreciate it. Uh, pretty easy tutorial, so without further ado, let's go. The first thing you're going to do is scrape off all of these nasty mold lines. If there's one complaint I have about Frosthaven is the quality of the miniatures. They could have been a lot better in my opinion. Some type of like Osworn or something like that. It just could have been a lot better. After that, uh, we're going to spray it in all of black as our base colors. So make sure you do that. Get everything. I know this is a different miniature, but you're going to put a dry brush of gray, Mechanica Standard Gray, or whatever you have, to start getting the highlights out. For our first base color, we're going to use some Kakoe Phony, Kaka, Kako Phony Purple. I don't even know how to say it. The purple. We're going to refer to it as purple on the face of the miniature. Next, we're going to do a dry brush on the hair, sword, and the hand or the arm on the right arm. Yeah, you probably we should do this beforehand, but it really doesn't matter because those are just going to bring out the highlights. You can also do the whole miniature if you would like. Uh, it's up to you. Next, for the front and back cloth of our miniature, we're just going to use some of the Screamer Pink just to bring out uh, that pink Vira color that's on the card art. Next, for the cloth that is on the right of our miniature and the left, we're going to use some of that Nagaroth Knight. Now you can see from the card art that there is some inscriptions on our miniatures front portion we're just going to write some inscriptions there's no right wrong or uh, a different reason or how to do it just whatever you feel like if you're the artist make it your art For the leathery portions on the belt of our miniature, we're going to use some Doom Bowl Brown. Now we're going to create our wash slash contrast rattling grime and some contrast medium. And we're going to put this on a vast majority of our miniature. Don't make it too thick, don't make it too thin, just enough so you can see that it does make a difference when you do put on it. makes it that grimy look, trying to match that color. Next, we're going to do the hair. We're going to use some Athromatic Blue. The Athromatic Blue is going to be put just on the hair. Now, that white, you can see, really sticks out, and that's what you want. It creates that nice uh, tone variant and natural highlights by putting that zenithal highlighting on there. 
when you do the first layer, let it dry. If you don't like it, or if you like that, how it turned out, keep it. If not, let it dry completely and then put a second layer on like I did. For the dagger on our miniature, uh, we're gonna put some white scar, whatever white you have. I'm not a huge fan if you've been watching this channel of the Citadel whites, I'm just not a big fan of them. Next, we're gonna highlight up that dagger with some Doomfire Magenta and underneath that right hand, we're just gonna put some of that powering look. Now you could have really dry brushed that right hand underneath if you wanted to, to create that variant. Uh, I didn't, and by that time I was done with it, uh, I didn't go back and do it. So you can if you want, but nonetheless, um, just put some pink underneath there. For our skulls, some basic Morgast bone, and that will be it for all of our base colors. To highlight up our skin, just like any other skin, except it's got a purple face on our miniature, we're going to use some of that Druki Eye Violet. And then we're going to do these skulls here in a second with some of that basic Agrath Earth Shade. We're going to take some of that original purple and we are going to highlight up our face. Now we want to focus on the raised areas. Do not get into the cracks and crevices. Don't get crazy with it. Just very thin paint as a consistency of runny milk or I'll say skim milk and just start building up our highlights onto the face area. Next, take a 50-50 mix of the purple and the fulcrum pink, and we're going to start really highlighting the bridge of the nose, the cheekbones, chin, forehead, a little bit above the mouth, and just creating that nice tone variant. And this will be the focal point of our miniature will be the face. Next, we're gonna take some pure fulgrim pink and we're just gonna create that nice, subtle pink purple look. Bridge of the nose, forehead, cheekbones, a little bit on the chin, and that's all you really need. Next, we're going to do some more gas bone or reapplication of more gas bone onto our skulls on the bottom and then follow it up by just a quick highlight of Ushabdi bone and that'll be enough for the skulls. If you want to take it up another notch, you can add another color for Ushabdi bones. It's up to you. I didn't go that far. And your favorite part of painting this miniature, because it means we're done, is the rim of the base. We're doing some Abaddon Black just to keep it very dark and very easy. Now, again, like I said in the beginning of the video, I'm not a huge fan of the Frosthaven miniatures. I think they could have done a better job or maybe put a little bit more money 
into the miniatures, maybe like an O-Sworn type miniature. I don't expect Warhammer quality, um, but for a game of this quality, it's such an amazing game. Fantastic, well put together, well thought out. So many test players, you can tell how much time and effort they put into it. I wish they would have done a little bit better with the miniatures. So, that is what it is. Uh, I just want to say thank you, thank you, thank you for watching and being a part of this channel and a part of the Nerd Knights family. Thank you all my YouTube subscribers, everybody who's a subscriber. If you're not a subscriber, please subscribe as we're going to continue on 2024 with as many videos as possible. All right, I love you all, and I'll see you on the next one. Paint on.